Hey guys, it's Mike. I'm coming at you and it's my D23 review video. So I got on the Mickey shirt today because you know what? We're talking about some great announcements. I know, so let's mix it up. Let's start out with Star Wars Land or Galaxy's Edge is the official name that was announced. Galaxy's Edge will be open 2019 for the first half, 2020, 2021. Right after that, um, which is exciting, um, they talked about the the uh, new rides that are coming. There's going to be a first order ride, and they showed the carts. The carts are pretty cool. Um, they kind of remind me of the Dino Land USA uh, dinosaur ride carts um, that people are going to be riding in. That seemed pretty cool. They showed how the land is going to look, so I'm super excited about that. But moving on with the Hollywood Studios news, Toy Story Land is set to open the first half of summer 18, 2018. So next year, guys, it is coming. And that's great news. Um, now I want to kind of jump over a little bit since we're talking about Pixar um, into Disney's California Adventure. Paradise Pier will be now known as Pixar Pier. And they're going to kick it off with a Pixar Fest this seems pretty cool. A little down for me because I love Paradise Pier. They even have the hotel named after it. I love the whole theming behind it. I do agree that it, it needed a little bit of a refurbish, kind of a boost. So it, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'll have to see how it is. I would like to go to Pixar Fest and maybe I'll do that um, and check that out. They also said there is going to be an Avengers area coming. Um, it sounds like they're going to get rid of the Bugs Life area and expand from where they've got uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride right now, which used to be Tower of Terror, um, which sits right in front of Bugs Life Land or behind, however you want to look at it, from Hollywood Land um, into an Avengers area with a uh, Spider-Man themed ride um, and stuff along those lines. So that seems pretty exciting out in California. Um, on to Epcot, we are getting a Guardians of the Galaxy ride there, where the Universe of Energy used to be. Um, Universe of Energy was great, uh, it was is dated a little bit, um, so they're adding that in. It. And moving on to France, they are adding a Ratatouille attraction. I think that's going to be pretty cool, honoring a very great movie in that remark. And then they are adding another restaurant um, next to Mission Space. Um, and it looks like they may be getting rid of, I guess the area it would have to be would be getting rid of the Wonders of Life old building which is turned into the Festival Building or Epcot Storage Unit. So you could say Body Wars is officially dead. Now, um, but this, I'm not excited about this. One, it's an attraction that soared when it opened and then massively dropped in peak with uh, uh, people talking about it all the time. Granted, I ride the ride. I have, I've been on a couple times. I don't say anything bad about it. There are a majority of people who still love the ride and love going on it, but compared to like Test Track within the park and Soren, it just doesn't hit that peak anymore. Um, a lot of the issues came about of people becoming ill on the ride and that's why they created two separate terminals for it. You've got the one where it's fully intense and the one where um, you kind of just get into the little bay. But for them to add a restaurant next to this attraction, I guess maybe they're trying to boost this attraction up a little bit more. I'm not really sure. It sounds like they're going to have very out of this world space themed um, entrees along with it. it. It is what it is. I feel like Epcot already has enough dining that um, they have trouble balancing at times. Epcot has more restaurants than anywhere else. They also have the Food and Wine Festival, a Flower and Garden, and the Arts Festival that all bring in food um, along with that and have multiple stands. I just I don't see this being it as something that was fully needed or something that you know is going to be turned into great hype after a while. Um, I think once it first opens, everyone's gonna wanna try it, and then from there, it's just going to fall within the rest of the mix. For, and it, it's rough because you have so many restaurants in the world showcase from countries all over the world with great food, and then, you know, Future World uh, has Garden Grill and uh, Coral Reef, and now they're adding another one to Future World, and it just, to me, it doesn't feel right, and it's not something that we ultimately were asking for or needed. Um, 
but I do look forward to trying it out. I, I, I think it's cool. I think the theme is awesome. I just don't feel that it was um, put in the right place. You know, they could have maybe added this into Tomorrowland um, in Magic Kingdom, maybe felt a little bit more in place because Magic Kingdom maybe could use another restaurant. So it just, to me, it's becoming overwhelming with places to eat in Epcot and where to choose and adding another one just doesn't fit the bill. So there is that restaurant coming. Um, the gondolas uh, that will take you to Hollywood Studios was announced for multiple resorts, um, including the new DVC resort uh, uh, that is supposed to open in 2019, Disney's Riviera, um, which looks to be next to the Caribbean beach. They are promoting this as a deluxe resort. So I don't know how this is going to work out, if anything is actually shared with Caribbean beach or if they're just going to be sitting next to each other. Um, so we'll see how that works. Uh, I don't really know if they're connected. It may feel a little bit weird, but having the, the mod and with a deluxe on top of it, not really sure. Also brings up the question with this being there and all the construction at most of the mods currently, are they trying to eliminate that moderate level and have deluxe value and deluxe? That question's been arised by a lot of people within the community that I've been talking to lately. And it's a possibility, but I don't see it. Um, this, I think, is probably going to be in feel and act like its own resort and hotel. As of right now, permits don't really show it having a pool, but it's Disney. There will be a pool, so I, w I wouldn't, um, you know, freak out about that one. Also, a lot of people saying it looks like a uh, hospital. I thought that was kind of funny. It does. It just kind of looks almost like a regular hotel somewhere. It doesn't have that Disney feel aspect to it. A lot of people have also been relating that feel, same type of feel when they first saw Bay Lake Tower, but Bay Lake Tower connected to the contemporary made a little bit of sense. This next to Caribbean Beach just seems a little bit odd in feel they're saying. I will say it doesn't feel within the concept art of what they're showing to actually look like it's going to be, you know, this you know, grand hotel. It just kind of looks like your everyday. It almost looks like a lot of the hotels in Vegas, to be honest. Um, you know, they're there, whatever. Yeah, you, you, you're not almost in awe compared to like stuff at Disney. So there's that. They have also announced a Star Wars themed hotel where you can immerse yourself into the galaxy and create your own Star Wars story. I think this is going to be pretty cool when it opens. I do want to stay there. I want to check it out. So that does seem awesome. Um, so that's the hotel news. They also did confirm, like I said, they would their Uber ride sharing style, um, mini Winnie, uh, mini vans, mini vans as they're calling it. Um, and they are Chevy Traverses. They are obviously wrapped. There was a mini van and it, uh, that was brought by Honda that was pink with bows on it, but those will not be used. Disney is using GM. As we all know, they are big partners with Chevrolet, so they will be Chevy Traverses wrapped with it. Uh, uh, there will be wrapped red with white polka dots and a mini logo on the door. Um, so that will come. Not sure on the pricing on that either, so that was announced. That rumor was true. Now to the big rumor. Um, Everybody talked about them getting rid of the Speedway. Nope, they are keeping it, and I am excited about that. But they are still adding Tron. They are adding Tron in Magic Kingdom. It's going to be behind uh, Space Mountain. Well, next to Space Mountain, behind. So you know that walkway from Fantasyland uh, or into Tomorrowland or vice versa. You know the one where all the smokers hang out. It's kind of disgusting. No one really wants to go back there. Um, that one, the ride's going to sit pretty much like back there with the concept art it looks like they're probably going to have to rearrange the train tracks um, to have the train because the train's still going to go through so it kind of looks like they'll have to rearrange the train tracks to fit that ride in there um, and have it go with along with the train going around the park so we'll see what that uh, is going to happen they're saying 2021 for the 50th anniversary which i am excited about uh the great movie ride is closing so that is true and they are bringing in mickey and minnie run away railway ride uh so 
Well, concept art looks looks fun, kind of, you know, missing great movie, right? But concept art looks good. What am excited about that too, but you know what the thing with Hollywood Studios is there's so many so many things closed and it ride actual rides I guess you could say that are left you once that closes we will have Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, um, Toy Store Man Midway Mania, and Star Tours. So we'll have four rides technically with a bunch of other shows uh, and attractions too, but ride wise only four until uh, Toy Story Land opens, and it's a little disappointing on that end. I feel like maybe they should have waited on this, because it's almost, it's like a downfall to go to that park. Um, so that happened there, and yeah, I mean, that's everything pretty much they've been in. Oh, they did uh, announce a uh, new theater coming to Main Street. Um, not really sure where it's going to be, but it's going to be a Kansas City named theater. Coming down Main Street, USA, going to have a bunch of new entertainment there. That's also exciting. Um, some people are a little nervous about what's going to happen with Tony's. Probably wouldn't worry. Um, that building's already big. If it is that building, it's pro it's. We'll see what happens. Um, so I really wouldn't worry about that. It's Disney. They'll figure something out to rearrange things. And uh, also, they added three more ships to the Disney Cruise Line, which was exciting. Whippy Goldberg was honored, and here's my thing, I, I I think she should be. She's done a lot for the company, you know, the list goes on and on that a lot of people don't know about. It was a little weird that she did come out and say she wants them to release Song of the South. Um, in the United States, it's saying we can't hide it anymore. Um, and they do and they don't. We have Splash Mountain. Uh, pretty much everywhere that doesn't hide it as much, but maybe it is about time Disney doesn't hide their past anymore with it um, and explains it. It's, it's just rough. So she was honored and everything else. I mean, there's just so much that they're talking about and so much they are bringing. It's, it's exciting, but it's all coming, you know, within 2018 to 2021 by the 50th. So I'm really excited about that. Overall, all the announcements were great couple letdowns, you know, on the way things were announced. Um, well, I wouldn't really say letdowns. It's kind of only, like, personal to me to be like, why do we need another restaurant in Epcot? Why are you closing the Great Movie Ride to put in this attraction? Can it wait a little bit so until the other two lands open so then we actually have stuff to do there? Um, so there's that. I'm really excited about the Star Wars Hotel that they're coming and Galaxy's Edge. That's going to be great. So, D23, I mean, they really went all out uh, this year, um, and it, it, it's exciting, you know, for them to do that. On the movie end, we did have Pixar kind of give us a glimpse into wh what they're going to do next for a movie. I guess it takes place in a suburbia where they used to have magic, but, you know, it's too difficult now to do magic. That's all they really brought in. And then they did announce Incredibles 2, which is supposed to take place just months after the original film. The whole original cast is coming back. So that's great. Um, that's really exciting. I'm excited about that. That's my favorite Pixar movie. So overall, just wow, they announced, they, they went all out. They literally went all out. The parks, I would say, in the next five years are just going to be amazing. They're just going to look and feel amazing. Everything there is just going to be great. Um, I get there's a lot of construction that's going to be happening over the next couple of years, and it's going to be a letdown. But, hey, if you want to start planning a trip in the next four to five years, by the time you go, it's going to be top-notch, top of the line. So that's everything going on with D23. My thoughts are... They killed it. They went over the top. I'm really excited about everything. A lot of the rumors were true. A lot of the rumors weren't fully true. But hey, the Speedway's staying. That's all I got to say. On that note, peace out, Girl Scouts.